Greetings! Hi friends! So we're here to do another TBR video even though I will now tell you status wise I failed at my May TBR. That's not fair enough to say. I read some of it. I just didn't read a lot of it because I didn't do a lot of reading in May between all of the traveling and stuff. Well I on the other hand successfully most successfully did kind of did it mostly because I said that I would DNF like a lot of stuff that I said with DNF, I'm so, so I'm, it's just a matter of me sort of signing the papers and saying, this is officially DNF'd, and then off to wherever it is that we send our arcs to. So, um... I officially failed. <laughs> it's okay. Whatever I didn't read is probably still just gonna get bumped over to... Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, you know, yeah, it happens. I, it's, I'm the only one who has a DNF problem, uh, meaning I don't really do it enough. All I have to do sure. is just really sort of just sign these off and say, all right, I guess I'm not reading these. Especially because we have a lot of really good stuff, and you've probably seen yes. this from our uh, book, book on haul. Book Expo haul. And so to feature our top five books that we're going to read right away. Well, I will throw in one thing. Every month, as you guys know, I've had a friend pick a book yes. for me to read. So I'm just going to throw in real quick that the friend who got to pick this month is Jane from It's Jane Lindsay. Hey Jane! And she picked The Raven King because I haven't finished The Raven Cycle by Maggie Seawater. So I basically have to reread the first three and then I can read the last one. So that is her pick. Awesome. I'm going to start with my middle grade books that I'm going to pick oh. from the large pile. So I'm going to start with Jinx by Amy McCullough. Probably butchered that. But it's basically a story about a girl named Lacey Chu who wants to for, like work for this really big tech firm company who creates like these artificial pets. Well, they're called Baku. One of these prototype pets sort of like as, finds its way to her and it's broken and she fixes it. And then from there the adventure begins because it's a tech company kind of who's going to want to get it back. Are they going to, you know, uh, is they gonna, are they going to want her for the capacity that she had to just as a child fix yeah, said, you know, advanced technology. So I'm very, very excited for this. This one's coming out in January 2020. So glad I don't have to wait for that. Happy to buzz about it after I've read it. I was about to say, I'm like, my technological, like, understanding things is like, you turn them off and you turn them back on if you want them to work. <laughs> so that's really The good old hard reset. But I think for her, she manages to tinker and stuff. Anyway, oh. this next book is a, um, a Charlie Thorne book. It's a Charlie, Th well, not that Stuart Gibbs is the author, Charlie Thorne is a character. Charlie Thorne and the Last Equation. So Charlie Thorne is a genius. Charlie Thorne is a thief. Charlie Thorne isn't old enough to drive and now it's up to her haha to save the world so I'm happy to read that I guess I'm gonna do two of my contemporary ones so the first one is twice in a blue moon by Christina Lauren the reason why this one is on here is because it's Christina Lauren and I love them and I think their writing is so fun um, so it's about two characters Sam and Tate and Sam was Tate's first love he was her first everything and then he became famous and their lives went separate ways and then they kind of come back together, or thrown together by life, and so they can re-explore or re-examine that relationship. I trust anything Christina Lauren has written because they usually write stories that are entertaining and funny and Tony, and I can't wait. And then we have The Map From Here to There by Emery Lord, which is the follow-up to The Start of Me and You, which is my favorite Emery Lord book. And this basically picks up a little bit after that one. Things might have changed just a little bit for those main characters. We're gonna have to see how it all plays out. So what happened, the, basically the entire premise of this explores what happens after you get your happily ever after and that's gonna be so exciting for me because I love that book but also painful because if they have to go through more conflict I may have to like try to corner <laughs> Awesome. Okay, the next book uh, that I'm definitely going to read is Co uh, is a book by Coco Ma, Shadow Frost. So it's a story that centers around the Prince of Exaria named Astrin, who may have the only power to defeat some kind of greater, larger evil that's sort of blanketing the land. Um, but then the plot thickens when they realize that there's also a kind of a plot to assassinate her. Uh, and she and her friends begin to wonder how much of their lives are actually lies and how much is it the truth. So me and my friends save the world uh, while You're the world better. tries to kill us so definitely my kryptonite right there the next one is storm rise by julian boehm so we got this one uh thank you by the way mel for giving us the kind of little tote with the tour stuff so um i'm sorry like the the, the one liner for this one literally got us both <laughs> you know alana eowyn and aria now meet rain and so rain can fight better than most men uh, doesn't want to get married. Doesn't want to get married and rather die a toothless hag than marry a boy that she doesn't love. And th there's a war now that she can prove it. It's just she did not plan on dragons. I love it. That's a great... I like, love it. You didn't even have to mention Eowyn, Al Alana, and Arya. Literally, all, even all, all on its own. Yeah, all on its own. It would have been fine, but I'm glad and that we have dragons. a point. And there's dragons. And there's dragons, so glad we have a point of reference. And then finally, much awaited, because it's been a while since Garth Nix had uh, released anything outside of... Anything outside of Old Kingdom. Old Kingdom stuff, which I love. I could eat and breathe and sleep Old Kingdom all day long. This is Angel Mage by Garth Nix. Happily fell in line for this one. It combines, you know, whatever Garth Nix's take is on angelic, like, lore 
and power. Which is always interesting. Which is always interesting. And Apparently I like angels. I know. And, I, and, and I've yet to, hopefully by now I would have already posted my selfie with the book and say, Garth, you said tweet it and here I am. Uh, he he wanted to see big all fan, of his. He 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 sent out like a like a tweet on on uh, during BA and he's like the arc's dropping. I want you know send, po post a selfie because I want to do this reading. I'm gonna do that. Oh, if I haven't already, but time this video comes up. My last three are all sci-fi fantasy. So first we have Scavenge the Stars, which is by Tara Sim, and this is basically the Count of Monte Cristo in space because it's about a main character named Amaya who is working off a debt on this ship, and I think it might be her family's debt, not her own. And so one day she rescues this mysterious stranger and then the mysterious stranger gives her the means, money-wise and also opportunity-wise, in order to enact the revenge she, she so badly wants against the person who ruined her family. Nice. Sounds so good. And then we have a book that I feel like I worked really hard to get so I really want to read it right away. And that book is The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. And really all I know about this one is that the main character finds this book and he starts reading it and it sort of feels like fantastical tales and everything until he suddenly sees something that sort of relates to him and so he tries to explore why that is and where that's going and it sounds so good and last but not least and Certainly speaking of angelic least. lore <laughs> I'm very excited about this and the only reason we have this review copy is because Kristen from Super, Super Space Chick lent it to us or gave it to us after she was done with it and it is Ghost of the Shadow Market which is by Cassandra Clare, Cyrus Brennan, Maureen Johnson, Kelly Link, Robin Wasserman. By the time this video goes up this will actually be out now that we have it. Mackie's pretty much probably be done with and this book probably by the me time too actually by the time this comes out. This comes <laughs> out. <laughs> Look at me overachieving. Kidding. Uh, anyway basically if you are familiar with the Shadowhunters world there's a character named Brother Zachariah and Brother Zachariah is the focus of this entire collection of short stories, pretty much. All of the stories tie into him and the different shadow markets. Well, interestingly enough, and this is in, a, in an isolated series of groups of short stories with a character from the Shadowhunter series as the focal sort of point and their mm -hmm. narrative, while at the same time exploring narrative arcs of different kind of people throughout the Shadowhunters history. So, so, um, excited. so it's like the Bane Chronicles with Magnus sort of being the thing. But, but excited. It, it is going to destroy. It's already ruined my life. So. I mean, like, the fact is most of these stories are probably set, like, during the time of the Dark Artifices, or, like, a lot of them will have ties to that, or ties to things you learn about in that series, and that series is devastating. So, I'm looking forward to it. But also, like, this is buff brother Zachariah. Can you see that? Like literally you could see his arm right How did How did Isabel describe brother Zachariah? If there was a hot silent brother's Bro calendar, He would literally be on every single one. He would month. literally be on uh, the... Uh, I mean, to be fair, she's not wrong. She's not... <laughs> I like, I don't disagree. That's yeah, true. So without spoiling you too much uh, about brother Zachariah, he is the hot silent brother. Basically. Probably the hottest of all time. Pretty much. That is our Wish us all budget. luck. I only um, have five books, so maybe this time I'll actually complete it. That's true. So that should be achievable, I'd like to think, throughout the month of June. Watch me film the July one and be like, I failed again. And it's only five books. <laughs> I doubt I, I, I'm rooting for Are you this time. Though. Well, at least I'll read that one. And that one's a monolith. This so. one's a thing. We're very excited. It's going to be such a good month. But anyway, if you guys have, you know, any interest in any of these books, let us know. We love knowing when you're excited about stuff. That's that true. We, we like commiserating. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys with a new video soon. Bye! Bye.